Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on adding labels to values in SPSS. So in this example, I have the data editor populated with fictitious data. I have an ID variable, a program variable, and a functioning variable. The program variable is an independent variable. Functioning variable is a dependent variable. So for program, I have three levels. I have a zero, a one, and a two. It's coded numerically so that it will function in an analysis, for example, an ANOVA. So if I were to run an analysis in a situation where I have these numeric values for the levels of the independent variable, we won't have any descriptive label for the independent variable levels. So for example, going to analyze general linear model and univariate, I'll conduct an ANOVA using these data. The fixed factor will be program, the dependent variable functioning, and I'm going to add options, display means over all and for program, and click continue and then click OK. So I conducted this analysis really just to view this table here, this program table, where you can see the program has the numeric values for the levels of the independent variable, a 0, a 1, and a 2. So as you can see, this will function. We can run analysis with just these numeric values for the levels, but it doesn't give us a table with a description of the level. So to get that, I'm going to go back to the data editor, and from here, I'm going to go to the variable view. So in the variable view, we can see the three variables that I have in the data editor here, ID, program, and functioning. So to add the labels, I'm going to go to where the program variable here in this row in row two intersects the values column. And you can see I've selected this cell and it says none right now, but there's this button here with an ellipsis. Click that and you'll get the value labels dialog. And it allows you to assign a label to the values for that variable. So here for this first value, we know that this independent variable program has three levels, 0, 1, and 2. So the first value is going to be 0. And the label for this level, for this group, is going to be CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy. So once that's entered, I'm going to click Add. So, so we have 0 equals CBT. For the next level, we know that's level 1, and the label for that, let's make that group. So that'll be group therapy. So we have CBT and group therapy, and then for the last level of the independent variable program, we know that's a 2, and let's make this the treatment as usual. This will be the control group. So this group would not get any treatment that was different than what they would typically receive at this particular site. Click Add. So we have 0 equals CBT, 1 equals group, and 2 equals treatment as usual. Click OK, and we can see that we have in brackets 0 comma CBT. This is telling us that we have labels assigned to the values in this variable. And again, we click it and click the ellipsis and we can see them again and we can edit them from here if we want to make any changes. So moving back to the data view, we can see now that instead of the numeric values being visible, we have the labels visible, CBT, group, and treatment as usual. To see the numeric values again, we just go up here to this A1 button and press that and we can see that we have the 0, 1, and 2 visible. So this flips back and forth between the numeric value and the label. So if I were to conduct that same analysis, go to General Linear Model, Univariate, and run the same ANOVA, and now we move down to the output in this program table, we can see we have CBT, Group, and Treatment as Usual instead of the 0, 1, and 2 being displayed as we had in the original analysis. I hope you found this video on adding labels to values in SPSS to be helpful. 
As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.